All right, we're going to go over the Bellarat Gal, Goal, Jail, probably, in Elden Ring. It's right outside of the tower settlement. You need to go outside the wall to get to it. So it's not inside the settlement, it's outside. So right around, and then find this cave, and go on inside. This one's uh, interesting. I like the lore behind it, at least. It's like an experiment. Head inside. I, I as usual, I don't recommend fighting much, because once you get to the boss, you can just scrap there. Grab the side of grace. Also, I'm level 205, so like leveling off of these things isn't... I don't do that anymore. Careful of that. Don't fall like I almost just did. There will be some stairs here. They break. You fall. Watch out for the dead guys. Or shades. It's like, it's like that Destiny DLC where they just made them all ghostly. And it's like, oh, yeah, they're new enemies. It's like, that's no, just the tarnished from back or the undead back in the old game go through here i got a little turned around i remember yep because you got to jump through this tiny hole which in most games i would assume you couldn't do but you can in elden ring just look for the little white marker i'm sure there will be one on the floor and if this was all you had to do i wouldn't even make the guide but this next part is a little rough it's um, acrobatics, shall we say? Roll acrobatics. Yep. You can already see the blood stains, right? You know where we're going. Good luck. Follow my, follow my lead. Dropping down slowly. I'm not sprinting. I'm not rolling. I'm just going off the edge and holding forward. That one, admittedly, I got lucky. Maybe you want to roll forward for that one. And I've made it down twice, to be clear, because I did one for the vi one to beat it and one for the video. That guy below you is actually an enemy, so feel free to drop and kill. I just forgot. And then we're going out the door right over here. Oh, and if you talk to the ghosts in here, they talk about, like, please don't put me in the pot, because they, like, turn into these nasty things. Cool lore, huh? Keep on going. Got a bridge, as well as a big old jug over there. I don't know if you can actually get there now that I think about it, because there's a bridge that falls apart. See ya, dude. Um, I've not been over there. Boundary break, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, you go this direction and the stairs are going to fall. I tried to get over there. Boom. And what, what's your other option when you become a jar, man, but to jump, jump off a cliff? Alright, now this is a little bit of a maze too. You can explore if you want, but this is the direction you need to go. Clear out this guy, break his jar, end his misery. Keep going this way. There's a lot of different paths, but this is the one we're taking. Jump over these downed jugs. Keep on going. I got a little turned around, but this is the direction we want to go. Suddenly we're playing a freaking platformer. Through here, wrap around. Drop down here. And from here, I believe you could probably make it right to the boss, but I'll lead you there anyways. Oh, jump, jump. I might have spoke too soon. I hope no one dies there. Keep on going. Roll. Uh, make sure you look before you leap, because that definitely could have been me dying. And in there is where the boss is. Beat the boss, and GG. Yeah, I think you get a war or ash or something. I don't remember, but good luck. Bye-bye.